My name is Vincent Angerosa, and I'm a artist on the game Plushy Knight at Faya, and I'm hoping to be a character artist. I guess some of the first concepts that I did on Plushy Knight were for the title character, Plushy Knight. I remember in the beginning I did a, a handful of sketches that kind of took the, the original concepts of the art team that helped pitch it to the uh, faculty. I took some of their stuff and ended up keeping the tiny bear appearance, but sort of beefed up his armor a little bit. The Chiron concept originally started out as a sort of a joint venture between me and Jonathan, where we both kind of sat in our own corners and did our own thing, trying to come up with how he would look and sort of intentionally avoided him because Jonathan's a good enough artist that I wanted to see sort of which path both of us would go trying to make Chiron be the scariest boss that we could. Then eventually when all that was done, we could come back to it and sort of combine the best aspects of both of our drawings. The end result is what you see in the game with the sort of half mechanical, half biological boss monster Chiron. So I started looking at weird Polaroid uh, malfunctions where people's limbs and movements sort of gets blurred out and started taking that as, long, as well as pictures of ghosts and try to combine them into something. And then, out of nowhere, I decided to make them a bit more frightening and started looking up pictures of mummified bodies and stuff. I finally dis decided on this sort of emaciated stalker look and gave it the sort of stretched skin covering that it has now. I had originally thought about making a really sort of beefy photo ghost that would walk around on all fours, similar to a spider like Chiron, and it would actually attack by, like, headbutting, and it looked like this sort of big, bulbous thing. And it was more of a, like, a bruiser kind of an enemy. And I decided instead to kind of go the more mechanical direction and kind of play on the whole Chiron as a spider thing and created the Shutterbug, which was this little camera, which sort of harkens back to Chiron's face and everything, with spider-like limbs, and he skitters about and causes trouble in the game. And... He was one of the most fun characters to design. Modeling the, the two enemies that I got, I had started out with the photo ghost, which I'm, I'm still proud of, but it was, uh, it was definitely a test for me, trying to figure out how to model a, um, such a skinny biped and have it look realistic and everything. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun to do, but I've, I've still ran into a couple of problems with making everything low poly. That's probably one of the least expensive models to render because of its uh, poly count. Same with the shutter bug. I actually um, started to pull myself out of my mentality of everything needs to be low poly and threw a couple more his way, and he ended up being a more uh, detailed creature. The end result was two very different models where you have this really organic yet low poly biped, and then there's this extremely hard-edged, higher poly mechanical uh, quadruped. It was, it was fun to do sort of two opposite ends of the spectrum. Everyone kind of took notice of the fact that I was cranking out concepts and stuff for Chiron, Photogos, the, uh, the lieutenant enemies. I was always able to sort of conceptualize them super quick for everyone. As a result, towards now that we're in the polish phase, I ended up getting called in to do paint overs for the different levels to figure out how we're going to polish them and what else to what else to add to them and all that other fun stuff. I've gone from being a character artist to now sort of applying the same sort of skills as an environment artist.